Hi everyone, this is Dr. Gurbuz. Welcome to my video. In this video, I am going to show how to conduct correlation analysis using SPSS. Correlation measures the strength of the relationship or a situation between two continuous variables. They can be interval or ratio level. So, consider that we have two variables like that. Yearly income and purchase intention. So both of them are a kind of continuous variable. So I can use correlation analysis in order to calculate the situation between these two variables. Correlation coefficient is represented by R. Yeah, actually we have other types of correlations like a spearmill, but the most popular one is Pearson correlation. Okay, so we're gonna focus on the Pearson correlation. Okay, correlation coefficient provides two kinds of information for us. The first one is direction. It tells about the which direction, which directional relationship we have that may be positive or negative thing. And the second information, it provides information about the strength of the relationship between two variables that may be strong, moderate, or weak. We can use this formula in order to calculate the correlation coefficient. So guys, correlation coefficient takes value between minus 1 and plus 1. Okay, so Remember that if we have a correlation coefficient or R which is equal to zero, that means we have no correlation, we have no relationship. Okay, there is no situation between the two variables. Okay, if you have a correlation coefficient something between zero and positive one, it means that you have a positive relationship. You have a positive relationship. Okay. If you have a correlation coefficient, okay, between let's say zero and minus one or negative one, which means that you have a negative relationship between these two variables. Okay. So also if you have a correlation coefficient, something like that, positive 0.7 or positive 0 0.8, it means that you have high correlation or strong correlation between these two variables. Okay? If you have a minus, let's say, 0 0.7, in this case, you have the strong relationship, but in this case, you have a negative strong relationship between these two variables. So, it means that if your correlation coefficient close to zero, like for example 0 0.3 or minus 0 point, you know, 3, you have weak or low correlation. Okay, that's good. So let's look at the scatter plots in order to interpret the different correlation coefficient. For example, let's say we have a scatter plot like that, okay? So it means that we have a no relationship because my R, my correlation coefficient, equals zero. That shows no relationship, okay, no association. Okay. Let's say we have a scatter plot like that. Okay, that shows perfect and negative relationship between these two variables between X and Y. Also, I have a correlation coefficient which is minus one. Okay, look at this example. So, in this case, we have a positive correlation coefficient which is plus one. Okay, it shows perfect and positive relationship. Okay, so which means that actually when the x variable increases, the y variable also increase, so we call it positive 
relationship. Okay, perfect positive correlationship actually. And look at this example. As you see, in this case, we have a negative 0 0.9. Okay, correlation coefficient, which means that we have still strong correlation, but it is negative way. Which means, which means that when our x variable increase like that our y variable decrease okay so reverse direction let's look at this one in this case we have a strong and positive relationship we have a correlation coefficient which is plus 0 0.9 okay which means that when the x variable increase the y variable also increase okay in this example, guys, we have a actually a kind of modest and negative relationship. Why? Because our R value, correlation coefficient value, equal minus 0, 0.4. Okay? So there is a modest, okay, medium relationship, but in negative way between X variable and Y variable. Okay? And the last case, in this case, we have a actually modest but positive relationship as you see which means that my r correlation coefficient equal plus zero four okay so those are the uh, kind of relationship or a situation between all these kind of you know examples okay so let's go to the uh, hypothesis or research uh, question Assume that I have a research hypothesis like that. Is there a significant relationship between students' efforts in learning statistics and their statistic grades? Okay, so this is a kind of research question. Okay, in this example, I'm gonna test whether there is a significant association between two variables. So this was my first variable, efforts in learning statistic. Okay, imagine that. It's a kind of composite variable and it consists of parallel items and it takes value between 1 and 7. And my second variable will be statistics grades measured at ratio level and it takes value between 0 and 10. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to calculate the correlation coefficient in order to determine there is a significant relationship between these two variables. So let's go to the SPSS and see how can we measure these two variables. Okay, this is my SPSS data set. First of all, let's go to do my variable. Okay, so my first variable was efforts, efforts in learning. This is my first variable. Okay, and the second variable should be, you know, statistics grade, that one. Okay, so those two variables will be my focus okay so in order to calculate the Pearson correlation analysis in SPSS I should go to analyze then correlate then I shall go to bivariate here okay then I should select my focus of interest variable which is effort effort in learning I will move to the right and also it was statistics grade I should also move it to the right okay then as you see some of the choices already you know set by default Pearson two-tailored and flag significant correlation okay so I shall leave all this setting as they are okay and then I shall go to options then I should select the means and standard deviation, then hit the continue, then hit the OK, then you are good. OK, then SPSS actually produced two kinds of tables for you. OK, this is the descriptive statistic and the other one is correlation coefficient matrix. We call it correlation coefficient matrix. So I will copy this output to the, you know, PowerPoint and then we can go ahead here. So, OK, so it was the first one this one descriptive statistic so I have my variable effort and statistic grade mean standard deviation and sample size okay and at the second 
table. You can see the correlation table. It's a kind of correlation matrix. SPSS actually compare all these kind of variables with each other. Okay, so effort, effort should be of course one because they are the same variable. Effort with statistic grade. So this is the correlation results. Okay, just go to the second row. Statistic grade and effort. We have this correlation and statistic grade and statistic grade should be one. So actually both uh, diagonal, okay, same. So we can use only one of them. We can use only this portion or this portion. Both of them are same, okay. So actually just look at the first one. You can see at the first row here, okay, it is the Pearson correlation coefficient between the statistics grade and effort. So I have a Pearson correlation which is 0 0.389. Also remember that SPSS automatically flag, you know, uh, when there is a significant correlation between two variables. Also SPSS notes one or two asterisks if it determine some correlation between two variables okay so this is my correlation coefficient and this is my pig sig value actually p value which is uh, clearly lower than my 0 0.05 and this is my sample size okay so how can i calculate actually interpret all this kind of information it is very easy so pearson correlation was conducted to test relationship between the students effort and learning statistic and the statistics grade. As can be seen in table 1.1 that I'm gonna show you, there was a significant and positive relationship between the two variables. So between two variables. So these R correlation coefficient come from here and my P value which come from here. So as you see, we have a positive relationship, okay? We have a positive relationship, which means that when the students' efforts in learning increase, their grades also increase. So it's a kind of positive relationship. And then also, uh, you can use this kind of table based on APA style in your writing. Okay, so you can also put some table in your report. So in table, you can just write your variables, student effort and learning at the left hand column then statistic grades then you can just put the mean from this table standard deviation from the same table and also then you can just write the uh, you know your correlation coefficient from this table and just put two asterisks you know uh, beside the your correlation coefficient and also you can just write some small note for your writing so that's all guys uh, see you on the next video bye bye